Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Um, so right now we're on the computer, I just wanted to show you something how I made an awful mistake and it cost me money. So uh, so yeah, uh, I'm going to show you the website. Uh, one second. Uh, so I this is the bidding website where you can bid on stuff. And I saw this microphone and I'll be like, oh that's a studio microphone, it's going to be a lot of money. So I just did a bid of 33 uh, euros. I didn't know I would actually win, but I just did it anyway. Because I, I have a lot of bids open. Uh, it's not smart either. Do your research before you bid. Uh, but yeah, I did the bidding. And then I won, apparently. I I, I, I was like, well, how did I win? And, but then I noticed that probably the other person who was bidding didn't overbid. Because if you go to, for example, a normal website, you can see it's only 40 bucks on sale right now. But So normally it's like 50 so, so it's been on 50 the most it's just now uh, with the black friday sales it's on 39 uh so yeah you probably think oh you still made a profit nope because i didn't calculate the taxes with it so i bid 33 i paid 47 and then uh with taxes uh it's 50 euro, uh, 15 euro extra, so that's already calculated with this, this is what I paid, so uh, yeah, so when it's back to the normal price, I made about like a few bucks profit if I sell it for that price, but you're never going to be able to sell it for that price, because it's like a used product, but it's new, so people probably don't trust it that much, so you're not going to be able to sell it for 50, I think. But anyway, uh, yeah, lesson learned. Do your research before you bid. Uh, anyway, let's go back to real life and do some going outside. But it's really cold. It's minus two degrees right now. It's really gray, but uh, the grounds are dry. So I'm just going to pack myself really hot and uh, maybe go out. Don't know yet. Uh, I have heated socks, so maybe we need them. But for now, I'm, I just think I'm not going to go too far out because if I get really cold, I need to be able to get back home quick so yeah uh, that's that let's go back to real life so yeah welcome back to real life as you can see it's cold when you touch this it's so freaking cold uh, the chickens are outside because they apparently don't have the cold I don't know but I still need to feed the chickens uh, they do have water still I think but uh, we still need to get some food in there and this is also what I bought on uh, Amazon because there was a sale it was like 10 for 24 cans of this iced tea I don't know it tastes pretty good so it's pretty nice to have <laughs> it was already a lot more but I drink a lot so then we have the small cans as well which was like 11 I think no wait this one was 13 this one was 11 so that's pretty cheap for one can of drink normally I don't drink it but um so my girlfriend has been cleaning up because she wanted to sell the house, but now she doesn't want to sell the house now. So, but she put everything everywhere. So I don't know where anything is. I just noticed that the um, the microphone I'm supposed to get, it's going to be coming Monday because there's like a, a holiday going on. Uh, but I already have this microphone. It's the Blue Jetty. You need to like tighten it. Then it won't fall over. So like that. This is a pretty good microphone. But I don't use it that much often because I don't really see a need for it. So I'm thinking about starting a channel. Uh, also, do you guys mind if I upload um, occasionally, like once a year, a gaming video? It's more like um, all the gaming I've done will be put into one video of the year. So it's only going to be once a year. Let me know if you're interested in that because I... I kind of want to. I'm working on that video right now because of all the gaming I did. So it will be all different games as well. Just funny moments mostly. When I see some bug appear or something. That's the cool thing with uh, GeForce Experience right now is that you can um, record. It's like it always records. So if you see something fun, you just press like Alt C or something and it records the, uh, the moment. We now have oh, let me, we now have this beam here as well, where you can train uh, hanging for climbing. Pretty cool. Now I need to find out where my 
tripod is left. I do have the mouthpiece, I just don't know where the case is. I'm gonna look down, maybe it's there. Or maybe not, so we don't know. Because he has been cleaning up everything. So now comes the hard choice, inline or BMX. Or skateboard. <laughs> I don't know if this is actually a good skateboard. I don't even think this is especially metal. It looks like it's such a weird material. I think it's metal because it's really cold. But yeah, maybe we should test with a magnet. I think I have a magnet. If it's metal, then it's... Maybe it's like a uh, work metal. I don't know. I just want to check it real quick. I think we have a magnet here. Hey, Loki! I think we have a magnet around here somewhere. Uh, or not. No, we don't have one anymore. She probably cleaned it up as well. So. All right, I'm gonna look for my GoPro case. Might take a while. So I'm kinda in a dilemma, I think is the word. BMX climbing inline practice. I don't know. I like both. I like riding BMX, but I also I really enjoy inline. I'm enjoying inline a little bit more. The reason is more that on BMX I'm kind of stuck. I have to push myself harder to learn new tricks. And when doing that, it's a lot more falling. Because I'm right now I can do manual. Um, I can bunny hop up things. I can do that sort of stuff. I can do a really bad 180, which usually makes my back wheel lose a few spokes because I land so badly. Uh, I can do grinds, but on inline I can't do that much yet. And it leaves for more things. I can practice more grinds maybe on inline. I'm gonna fall as well because on inline there's no way you can jump off. Uh, on BMX that's more the case that you can jump off. But yeah, there's so much more I can do right now in line, in my opinion. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking. Maybe uh, if tomorrow is my hand still shit, it's broken like this, I can't climb to tomorrow either. So I might do today in line, tomorrow BMX. Yeah, I think that should be it. Let me get the weather for tomorrow first. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it's tomorrow is gonna be cloudy. Uh, it's right there, cloudy. And it's going to be 2 degrees, so it's a little bit warmer than today. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do inline today. And I'll try to do a video tomorrow as well, where we go... Uh, where we go and do... BMX, sorry. Why was I thinking so? I was thinking about other stuff and... Just anyway, let's go and do some fun. We go uh, try some new tricks on inline, and there's no climbing then because with inline you can't climb. Or, or I need to bring my shoes, but then we have to change shoes while we are there. I don't know. It's just more of a hustle than just doing it on a BMX with my fan shoes because fans have pretty good grip, so they are pretty good to climb actually with. As you can see, they are pretty good grip and they're pretty sticky. So. <laughs> They're not ideal. Uh, I have uh, I'm gonna use these climbing shoes also for outside because they're like broken, but they're perfectly for outside. All right, let's go and do that. Yeah, so let's just have some fun on inline. I don't know where to go. I don't know how cold it is. Oh my god, it's like ice on the freaking plants. And it is that looks from this direction. Let's go and find so them. hey everyone, we're at the skate park right now. Uh, it's the, the ramps are pretty wet, so that's the only downside really, but uh, for the rest it's pretty good. Uh, there's some leaves where you can slide on, but we're not. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen if I don't do carving like this. When you do like carvings like this, you can slide, but there's not that many leaves, so it won't be that much of an issue. So let's go and do some stuff. So I got a lot better in doing the fakie to 180 in higher speed, so I'm gonna show it. I already did it, but you know, I didn't really show myself. So that's what we're gonna aim for right now. I guess I could put it like here. 
Then you have a wider angle. So I always say it's cold because my ear plugs always fall out when it's cold. I don't know why. Let's do a 180 on the ramp. I have a bad habit, uh, which is I normally ride like this, but when I do a 180, I always have my right foot in front and I turn to the left like that. For landing, it doesn't really matter because right away you land with your left foot on the front. But for doing anything else than that, like when I go down ramps, I sometimes also do uh, my right foot first, and then I want to switch like halfway down the ramp to my left foot forward, and then you just do a loop out. So. Not recommended, but I think I would be called like a goofy then, I guess. But we'll make it work. Okay. So yeah, uh, 180 on this, 180 on this. Then we'll do a 180 to fakey, and then we'll do an 180 there. So I need to get the angle right. Like I think this will be good. All right, what else can we do here?
so we're at the next skate park the big bull i'm not gonna ride it with my line <laughs> it's no way, way above my my skill level at the moment but we can do some tricks here like over here we have pretty steep uh, concrete wall so that's pretty good Whee! oh there's a little thingy here i'm not sure if it's gonna make a difference if i go fakie yeah definitely it's gonna make an issue damn it so it's probably only make an issue when you go slow but my fakies are not the best yet so we'll just do a carving and just yeah let's do that keep it at that at the moment I found this. This will be a third going down here. I think I'm going to go down there. Yeah, I can avoid that. To go home my toes are hurting so bad oh i need to get my warming uh, socks i just can't go on anymore i uh, sorry th sorry for the ending of this video i don't just don't feel comfortable doing it right now because everything is frozen everything hurts i hope uh, warm weather will return soon then we'll definitely get it but for now i'm sorry sometimes you just have to do with what you feel comfortable especially when you're alone uh, well, the things that came into my mind was like I'm gonna fall, my leg will be stuck under there somehow I'm gonna break it and I have to crawl all the way home Because I don't have my phone with me Probably not gonna happen oh, You always think of the worst case scenarios But uh, sometimes you have to Have to do it Okay, I'm gonna uh, uh, skate around a little bit With uh, just the last round So you guys can see the skate park a little bit better And then we'll head home because I'm too cold. Pretty cool. Uh oh, now we go really fast because we're already going downhill. Alright, I don't know if I can survive this. I guess we just try, right? Whoa, oh my god! There's like a bump there. My left, my left shoe uh, hanged onto it, but I managed to survive because I learned to ride on one wheel, like for this. You don't need to learn it to, that long, but if you learn it a little bit, like when you get when your one foot gets stuck, you can like just lift it up. Like, for example, I'm going to show you. And then you just lift it up, and you'll be fine. 
it's just a way to save yourself. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And if I will charge for my uh, warming socks, and tomorrow we'll be going to ride some BMX, maybe climb some stuff we find on the way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Don't forget to do a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you all later. Bye bye.